In August, we will be looking at stories in our sermon series. We're going to hear from five members of our congregation who will be preaching for us. And also, we'll be hearing someone's story each week. Here's Dave to tell us his story. Hi everyone, my name's Dave and I've been a member of St George's for quite a while now. And I was asked if I would share a bit about my story and my testimony as part of the series that's been happening at St George's recently. Um, it goes a little something like this. So I was born into a Christian household with two strong Christian parents. Um, and along with my younger sister, we came to the country in 1999. Um, I grew up uh, with church around me. We used to go every Sunday, I went on Christian camps and things like that here and there. And I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, but I always had this thought in my head of, have I been following along with just what my parents told me to do? Um, and do I really believe it for myself? And when I went to uni in 2013 um, to study medical biochemistry at Leeds, uh, I really used my time away from home to just sort of do whatever I wanted. Um, I found myself uh, in a very toxic relationship towards the end of that degree. And uh, I was also starting to fall in love with uni culture, going out a lot, that sort of thing. Um, but then also taking drugs rec recreationally here and there. I'm never addicted or anything like that, but um, wouldn't say no. Um, this was made worse by the fact that I was still going to church whilst I was in Leeds. So whilst all this was going on, I was still going to church on a Sunday um, and was just basically getting my fill. I was sort of just ticking the box. I didn't want to push that whole Christian lifestyle out, but... Um, I definitely wanted to keep a little part of it, I guess, but I knew that I wasn't living that way. I was just sort of going along for the sake of it. Um, and then eventually the relationship I had previously, um, it became toxic. And as that broke down, I started to rethink everything a little bit. And I started a new degree. Uh, I started dental school after I finished my first degree. And I started to think about whether I really wanted to be going to church or not and I started to go less and um, didn't really have it on my mind too much um, until about maybe 2017 when someone from church invited me along to a small group and then uh, it was an adult sort of small group uh, away from the students and it was I don't know then maybe the new environment uh, but it meant that when I was with these people I was able to discuss and talk about uh, the Bible readings in a way which I never really had done before. Um, and it was more of like a questioning sort of tone, like, why do we sort of believe this? And do we think this is right? Do we, do we agree? Do we disagree? And looking into the reasoning behind things was something that was really important for me. And it really helped me understand that this life that I've been living, this Christian life I had always thought of, um, as being something that was taking away from what maybe life is meant to be was actually the complete opposite. And it's actually something that God offers us. God offers us new life through Jesus. And that's something I only really feel like I understood as I started to explore the Bible more, but also discussing it with people. And that's something that really helped me along my journey. Um, and then I got baptized uh, last year in 2019 and, uh, God's grace, really, I've started to do some children's work um, at the church as well. So I look after a group of year sixes with Rosie as well. And through that, I've been able to see them grow through their faith, which has just helped me grow through mine as well. Um, and that's something I really have enjoyed.